LS11 Universe, it's Xander, and welcome to the first edition of LSWF Kickoff. I'm excited to be here tonight, and I'm excited to be on the premiere and stream and everything else with you guys after each of these shows when they air. But the thing is that, you know, I'm a busy guy. I'm a really busy guy. I'm going to be an active member of this roster as well. I've got to be the general manager. I'm not going to have time to get here and commentate every week on this show. So, please allow me to introduce the first member of our amazing commentary duo. He is the master of the circus. He is one half of your LSWF Tag Team Champions. He is the Quizmaster. And for the other half of our duo, he is the master of the time rift. He is one half of a timely wall. He is one of the originals of the Too Many Xanders. He is the Time Lord of all Time Lords. He is the Doctor. Now you boys do me a favor and try and coexist long enough to be a competent commentary team. After all, I can't be everywhere. Have fun though. See you guys at Supercard of Honor later today and see you tonight for the LS11 three year anniversary stream. So we're a commentary duo now then. It would appear so. Hello LS11 Universe, it's the Doctor and the Quizmaster. And welcome to LSWF Kickoff. We are kicking off tonight with something very special. Yes, indeed we are. We are kicking off tonight with a fatal five-way between the men who call themselves The Gang, in which the winner receives a ARW World Championship matchup. Yes, that is right. The winner of this matchup will challenge Connell the Exterminator Zanzanega in a few weeks' time at December 23rd's Christmas Chaos event for LSWF. The next time we're going to be live for a big pay-per-view style event. And the first man we can see here is the mouthpiece of The Gang, the man who many consider to be the leader of the gang, DJ Danger. Yes, I like this one a lot. He's a very, he's a very mouthy individual for sure as DJ Danger, but he manages to back it up in the ring. He's backed it up every time. We saw him in that big triple threat matchup just last week at Halloween Havoc. He impressed me and you know, I've been in the ring with the members of the gang before. Oh bullshit, I'm the one who had to wrestle them. Okay, fine, fine, then how about you tell us a bit about them? 
Yes, I've had to actually be in the ring with a couple of members of the gang, which you'll be seeing later tonight. I had to step into the ring, well, I had the pleasure of stepping into the ring with Ricky Ross and Nelson Kent at one point, before we had to redo the whole gauntlet. Oh uh, yes, yes, the gauntlet I won! Yeah, yeah, you got the last spot and beat up two middle-aged old men. Well, enough about me and my feats. DJ Danger's an impressive man. We saw we saw him in that triple threat, but another impressive man is this one here, Ethan Fisher. Yes, Ethan Fisher, part of the tag team in the gang that went through two rounds of the gauntlet before being eliminated by Friendo Club of Steven Lawson. Yes, and I think tonight Ethan Fisher's got a very good chance. He was a very resilient man, is Ethan Fisher. We've seen a lot out of him. I love the helmet that he wears as well. Reminds me a lot of my dear friend and tag team partner, T3CH. Yeah, so why don't you just keep sucking into the cyborg that did all the work? Don't make me come over there. So yes, Ethan Fisher makes his way to the ring tonight now. He is... He's another man that's been mouthing off with Carnold in social media and on Discord as of late. The second member of the gang will be seeing tonight. It's a big Fatal 5 way. Remember, it's elimination matchup, so four members of the gang will be pinned or submitted tonight in order to find out who Carnold's next challenger is. Yes, and we already know that next week Connell will actually be gracing us with his presence on LSWF kickoff. Yes, that's absolutely right. Connell will be here next week for a big six-man tag team matchup. Here comes the next member of the gang, though. Here comes Nelson Kent. I mentioned him just a moment ago. Yes, Nelson Kent. We saw him in the gauntlet as well. He didn't fare quite as well as Ethan Fisher did, but he's got a very rugged look about him. Reminds me a, a bit of a young Xander, does he not? Ah, oh, yeah, I suppose so. Xander used to be a bit of a young punk like that a while ago. Many years ago at this point. Yes, now he's just bitter and old. Eh, 22 is not that old. It is with you things. Age is just a mindset. No, it's a number. No, it's actually a word. Well played. So yes, Nelson Kent has made his way to the ring. Here comes the fourth member of the gang. Here comes AES. Yes, what does AES even stand for? None of us are actually aware, but that mask. He hides behind it. It makes me wonder what kind of hideous, deformed creature might be back there. I think he just wears it for effect, mate. Allow me to have dramatic effect on commentary for once, then, would you? Fine, fine. Yes, I do wonder why he wears the mask as well. Well, this gang, Fatal Five Way, is moments away from kicking off. One member of the gang left to enter tonight. It is going to be the last member, Ricky Ross, is who we await. It's a huge night ahead of us here. Three big matches on our first edition of LSWF Kickoff. Yes, that is right. As previously mentioned, we've got this big Fatal Five Way between the gang. We've got the big women's matchup, the in-ring debut of both the showstopper Elizabeth Bell and the Rose Blade. Yes, yes, I have taken a lot of interest in that matchup in particular. Yes, we'll get there when we get there, though, won't we? And of course, we've got our big main event, another matchup I'm taking very special interest in, the Internet Championship on the line between Hanzo and Ray. Yes, but now here comes the final member of the gang, Ricky Ross, making his way to the ring. Ricky Ross set for this big matchup here. He's got a very electric presence to him, does he not? Yes, he does! You, you look at him and you see a very electrifying man. He's quite the star, quite the specimen to behold. I think he's got a lot of star power to him. We saw him in that gauntlet as well. We've seen all the members of the gang in action so far. None of them has championship gold like I have here on this announce desk. Again, you got the final spot in the gauntlet. You got a late spot as well. Don't make me punch you. So Ricky Ross has made his way to the ring. Nelson Kent, Ricky Ross, Ethan Fisher, AES, and DJ Danger. Yeah. The gang have all made their way to the ring now, so this fatal five-way will go down momentarily. It will be a very interesting matchup for the two of us to behold. Yes, fatal five-ways are a pain to call, and for the two of us here, I'm sure we won't be stumbling over each other the whole time. Oh, nonsense. You and I have amazing chemistry. We even finish each other's... Not happening. So, Ricky Ross taking his time to show off a bit, showboat a little bit. I haven't been to showboat myself a bit. Don't you stop. 
I'm a bit of a showboat myself, I can understand and appreciate the odds of presentation. But come on, we've got a show to run, we've got a three year anniversary tonight. Yes, yes we do, the three year anniversary of LS11 Universe today, it's very exciting to run, we'll it's Super Card of Honor later tonight as well. So it's the Gang Fatal Five way, here we go. Ah uh, yes, DJ Danger and Ricky Ross going right at one another as Nelson Kent and Ethan Fisher seem to be teaming up. AES yes, dumping Ethan Fisher out of the ring as Nelson Kent now with a suplex to AES yes, and DJ Danger bends back the arm of Ricky Ross. We know there's a bit of a bit of friction within the gang between those two over who the leader really is. A lot of friction in the gang of who the leader is between all five of these men, I'd even say. Yes, as we see AES now has turned his attention to Ethan Fisher, he launches him into the turnbuckle and slings him across the ring. As DJ Danger lights up, he lights up Ricky Ross and hits him with an axe kick. AES pulls back on the arm of Ethan Fisher and Nelson Kent picks him up. And Nelson Kent with a knee into the back. And AES looks to return fire with a suplex. It's all going to be a game of who will be the first one eliminated tonight. That will definitely set the stakes for the rest of the matchup. I agree with you, it will. As Nelson Kent knocks back AES, but Ethan Fisher and AES staying on top of it seems to be frequent double teams between any combination of those four, three. As Ethan Fisher now is launched out of the ring by DJ Danger. DJ Danger probably has the most to prove in this one, you know. He had that big triple threat matchup against What's the Status and Shinobi a few nights ago. Ended up coming up short in that one. And, you know, he didn't get a shot at the Rumble later that night. The gang at least had a very great showing in the Gauntlet matchup. Later that night, DJ Danger is the man with a lot to prove in this one. Yes, he wants to show that many call him the leader for a reason. Wants to show why he wants people to stop saying he might be the weak link as Nelson Kent takes down AES. Oh, and Ricky Ross into a submission on Ethan, or on DJ Danger on the outside. Ethan watching on as AES with a knee into the arm. Now's a great time to remind everyone, if you want your characters featured in LSWF, upload them to the 2K22 community creations with the hashtag LS11Universe. Yes, that like my colleague just said with the hashtag LS11Universe. All one word, like the channel name below, except for one word because of 2K, as Ricky Ross launches DJ Danger into the steps. And AES with a stun gun to Nelson Kent. There's a kick attempt to the ribs. Nelson Kent counted. Nelson grabs onto AES. And a huge clothesline floors him. Ricky Ross takes down DJ Danger on the inside. And Nelson Kent takes down AES into a cross face using his own arm against him. It's a very dangerous situation to be in. As AES now knocking back Nelson Kent. And on the outside, DJ Danger launched into the barricade. Nelson Kent now takes down AES, hammering away with forearm strikes. Taking him down now into a cover. There's one. No, AES kicks out. You're going to see a lot of resilience among the gang. That is a common occurrence we see with them, is a lot of resilience between each member of them. DJ Danger taken down by Ethan, Ethan Fisher on the outside. Now Ethan Fisher and Ricky Ross forming an alliance in the moment. As a big swanton attempt by Nelson Kent, blocked by AES. Yes, AES getting those knees up there, going to do a lot of damage to the kidneys and the lungs of Nelson Kent there. Putting the knees in the back of the ribcage, does a lot of damage. Yes, broken ribs are no joke in professional wrestling for sure. As AES and Nelson Kent continue to fight on the inside of the ring, you got to think that first pinfall or submission could happen any moment now, as Nelson Kent once again mounts AES. Yes, he does, taking him down. Mounts him once again, turns it over, does AES. It's a good strategy, stay on top of your opponents. As you can see on the outside, an alliance has definitely been formed between Ricky Ross and Ethan Fisher. DJ Danger in a lot of trouble right now. AES takes down Nelson Kent though, and Nelson, oh! AES pops him up into a last ride. One, two, three. And just like that, Nelson Kent has won this. Something tells me in another timeline he should have won it. And now AES pulls in Ethan Fisher for a twist of fate. Into a cover. Second cover now. One, two, no. Now Quizmaster, you've seen a lot of damage like that. You've been in a few matches before. As oh, hang on a minute. Another sit out last ride. Ricky Ross nearly put down DJ Danger who rolls out of the ring. 
AES off that second last ride turns Ethan Fisher over. One, two, no. Well, Quizmaster, I was going to say, you've been in a few matches in your day. You competed in the ARW Royal Rumble earlier this year. Yes, I did. What of it? You know how much damage it takes to put a man down. Down. Well, yes, I do. That rumble was no joke. Ultimately, I ended up coming up short that night, obviously. As Ricky Ross with a hip toss to AES, and you are absolutely right, Doctor. It does take a lot to put a man down. But you get that one lucky blow. You get that one lucky shot like Xander did to me in our matchup many months ago. He got that lucky pedigree in, and he got the win. You get that lucky shot in. A big enough move can knock a man out from a standing position when he's fresh as a daisy. You can see Ricky Ross has caused AES to retreat out of the ring. Ethan Fisher now covers DJ Danger. One, two, three, no! Near fall there for DJ Danger. He manages to kick out though. And Ethan Fisher stomping on the lungs. Kicks him in the face and turns him back over. Bends back the arm. And Ethan Fisher looking to put down DJ Danger by bending back the fingers. Ricky Ross watching on. Yes, Ricky Ross and AES both taking moments to recover as, oh, Ricky Ross charges right in and gets caught by Ethan Fisher. Fisher knocks him towards the ropes. Ricky Ross finds the counter, scoops him up, an atomic drop connects. And Ricky Ross with another one for good measure. Takes down AES and Ricky Ross looking to put him down. AES slides back in the ring to save Ethan Fisher. Excuse me, I had my names backwards there. Uh, there's four of them. It's a little hard to keep up sometimes. Ethan Fisher punches AES in the back, and Ethan Fisher with a springboard into a drop kick across both men's backs. AES grabs onto him now, and AES with a suplex. You can see Ricky Ross here. He's a very physically impressive specimen. He's a large man. He's going to be someone that's very hard to keep down as AES knocks him back, and AES, his turn for the pop-up last ride once again. One, two, no. Exactly like you said, he's going to be a very hard man to keep down as DJ Dangerous slid back into the ring now. Knee to the arm, from AES as DJ Danger wills him on. AES punches him in the mouth. He's got that extra bit of covering to his face. That's going to provide some shielding in a way. Yes, it absolutely is. That's part of why my cyborg wears a face shield. Probably because his face was mangled. No, no, his face is fine. It's like Robocop. It's a bit of shielding. As DJ Danger... With the go to sleep, looking to say nine nights cover. One, two, no, AES kicks out. Feels like everyone's dished out a finisher and everyone's kicked out of one at this point. We could be speaking too soon though, AES. Twist of fate to DJ Danger. Into a cover. There's one, two, no. Oh, but look out, Ricky Ross, that impressive specimen, stalking the outside. Ethan Fisher takes a last ride for the one, two, he kicks out. And now Ricky Ross grabs AES and punches him in the face. And DJ Danger grabs onto him now, but Ricky Ross knocks Danger away and stomps the arm of AES. Ricky Ross now grabs AES, picking him back up to his feet, but now DJ Danger and Ricky Ross getting into it. Ricky Ross tried to grab him, and AES takes down Ricky Ross. And Ethan Fisher now pulls DJ Danger in. Oh, hang on a minute. Yes, this is how we got a win over Ray in the gauntlet with the package. Pile driver. He goes into the cover for a one, two, three. DJ Danger is the second man gone. I honestly thought many people would have pegged him as the favorite to win it based alone on his arguments with Connell. He wanted to win it more. That's absolutely right. We're down to three members of the gang, though. As AES knocks Ricky Ross into the ropes, and Ricky Ross, an atomic drop, knocks him back, picks him up, hits another one, knocking him back. Down goes AES into a cover. One, two, three. No, Ricky Ross nearly got him. I truly thought Ricky Ross had that one won there, Doctor. Yes, I did as well, Quizmaster. Oh, wait a minute. Rock bottom. AES goes down off of a rock bottom. That might be enough. There's one, two, three. AES is gone. And the smallest man in the match and the biggest man in the match are the two that are left. Ricky Ross and Ethan Fisher now squaring off. As AES leaves the ring, Ethan Fisher takes a DDT on the floor. 
It's going to be a real underdog story if Ethan Fisher can come back in this one. He manages to take down the foundations. That's what you're going to want to do against a man the size of Ricky Ross. Take out his legs. Take out the foundations. Speaking from experience, are we? I've got a big man of my own on my side. You have to know how to take someone like that down from every angle in case they disobey. Or, you know, don't obey the Quizmaster. Yes, yes, I'm sure. As there's a Rainmaker from Ethan Fisher. Two. Nearly got him. Oh, there is a big one there. Also, you should just know how to take down opponents of all shapes and sizes, no matter what. Like Ethan Fisher here, who pulls in Ricky Ross and nails him with a package pile driver in the middle of the ring. Dr. Conant. One. Two. Three. Ethan Fisher gets the win. By far, I would have said Fisher was the long shot in the matchup. He gets the win with multiple pinfalls as well. Ethan Fisher wins the Gang Fatal 5-Way. Is it the only Gang Fatal 5-Way we'll ever see, though? I think I highly doubt it, Quizmaster. I mean, these guys all want championship gold, and there's only so many titles to go around in LSWF. You're absolutely right. Let us move on to this next matchup, which I have taken a personal interest in. Doctor, why don't you explain why? Yes, yes, because the reason the Quizmaster here says he's taken such an interest in this matchup between the showstopper Elizabeth Bell and Rose Blade is because we now can confirm on December 23rd, later this year, Christmas Chaos, we will crown the first LSWF Women's World Champion when Elizabeth Bell takes on Quizmaster's partner in crime, the Quiz Queen, to take to crown the first champion. Oh, please, you've done that wrong when this peasant the self-proclaimed showstopper Elizabeth Bell steps up to the most beautiful woman in LSWF, the queen of the circus, Quiz Queen, and watches, and we watch on as Elizabeth Bell fails to become the LSWF Women's Champion because of Quiz Queen, the greatest competitor in LSWF besides myself, of course. Christ alive, Quiz Queen has a match next week too. And it's going to be amazing when she steps in the ring. Well, without any further ado, here comes Elizabeth Bell's opponent tonight. Here comes Rose Blade to the ring. Rose Blade has a very hardcore appearance to her, seems like a real punk rocker of her own right. Yes, she does, and the Rose Blade, I wish her the best of luck tonight. It would be great to see her silence Elizabeth Bell and make sure the bell doesn't toll anymore. Yes, that is right, Rose Rose Blade and Elizabeth Bell is going to be an interesting one. You can see there the, the big banner behind Rose Blade as she makes her way to the ring. That is a, bear, a banner made by Xander in order to put this arena, the stars of LSWF, and that banner will shake up every few months or so, roughly. Every few months or so, we'll create a new banner based on who the top stars at the time are, but you can see featured on that one, The Gang, Xander, Ray, Connell, Quizmaster, Tech Nizzle, Quiz Queen, Elizabeth Bell, JJ Gyllenhaal, Martin King, I might have already said that one quite honestly. Hanzo Shinobi, and that, and Alice Yuri all pictured on there. Oh uh, yes, Alice Yuri, how's she doing after Quiz Queen vanquished her last week? I don't want to talk about it right now. Oh, why not? I thought she was a dear friend of yours. Shut up. Rose Blade pulls in Elizabeth Bell and pops her up for a big rotating DDT out of the gate. Yes, come on, Rose Blade. You stay on top of us. Silence the bell. Rose Blade staying on top of her shirt. She's got a height advantage. That's for sure. She's, got, she's definitely got the reach advantage as well. Elizabeth Bell is going to have to fight hard to try and escape this one. As a back body drop on the apron. Now, Quizmaster, be honest with me. Ah, uh, yes, what is it, friend? Did you maybe pay for this matchup here? I have no idea what you're talking about. As Rose Blade locks in a cattle mutilation. But Elizabeth Bell, ugh, the worm wiggles free. Elizabeth Bell managing to finally get her first bit of offense in in this matchup. She launches Rose Blade in the steps. There's a blatant disqualification. No, it's not. And Elizabeth Bell taunting against Rose Blade now. What gives this woman the right to taunt like this in the middle of a match? Get back in there, Rose Blade. Do what I paid you for. I'm sorry, what? D nothing, nothing. She was help at the circus last week. Oh, was she? As Elizabeth Bell grabs her and slams her head first into the mat now, and Bell turns her over, Elizabeth. 
Goes around, grabs onto her by the mouth into a bulldog choke. We're going to choke out Roseblade here. She's got her down, and Roseblade slips out of it. Elizabeth Bell gets picked up. Huge cradle suplex takes it down from Roseblade. And Rose Blade on an absolutely dominating performance with a rolling leg drop taking it down. Rose Blade going up to the top now and come on Rose Blade. Hit the elbow. That's a, that a girl. Into a cover. One. Two. No. Come on. Stay on top of her. Take her out. You really you know as a commentator you're not supposed to show bias. Well right now my bias is clear because Rose Blade dares to desecrate the name of my beautiful woman Quiz Queen. Wow, you're a king simp around here. Excuse me, I've put a ring on it. She's the queen of the circus for a reason. As there's a big knee to the face from Rose Blade. Oh, went for another one. Yes, Elizabeth Bell getting out of the way now. And Bell grabs onto her. Elizabeth slams her into the mat yet again. Goes for another kick. Rose Blade out of the way. And a Fez press now. Rose, uh, Rose Blade having her hand, head slapped into the mat repeatedly by Elizabeth Bell. Who pulls her in now and a forearm strike takes her down. Elizabeth Bell now grabs the arm, bends it back, and stops the arm of Rose Blade. And she's going to look to do it again. Bloody hell. Turns her over with a kick in the back. Rose Blade in some trouble as Elizabeth Bell stays on top of her. Come on, Elizabeth. Stomps the arm. I thought we weren't supposed to show bias. Yes, but this is pissing you off, so it's fun. Super kick. Right off the jaw with that high heel. Two. Very close near fall. Rose Blade is in a world of trouble right now. Quiz Queen, I hope you're watching this matchup. Scout out your opponent, please, my love. As now Elizabeth Bell with the French Kiss DDT. And Quizmaster, I think that's a message to your woman. With the one, two, three, Elizabeth Bell. The showstopper steals the win. Stealing is right. She blatantly cheated multiple times. She did no such thing. Elizabeth Bell picks up a lot of momentum. Now, any worries now on your face there, Quizmaster, given Quiz Queen faces the American bombshell Amanda Lawrence next week on LSWF Kickoff. I have no worries whatsoever. Get on with the next match. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the main event of the evening, the Internet Championship will be on the line. This is the second defense for the young Hanzo. He's got to go one-on-one -on -one with a man that I think everyone is determined has got this one, the odds-on favorite for this one. Yes, the, the co-founder of LS11 Universe on the three-year anniversary looks to win the LS11 Universe Internet Championship. Here comes Ray Wood. Now, I, I've had some issues with Ray Wood in the past, but we have agreed to let bygones be bygones. And Ray Wood, I mean, he, he's the odds-on favorite for a reason. The man powered through a gauntlet, two-on-one, for a solid few minutes before being planted with that package pile driver. The man has my respect. I'm not so surprised that anyone has your respect. But I mean, just because you don't have it doesn't mean it's easy to get. Ray Wood is a, he's a very powerful man. He won a 10-man rumble to get into this matchup. Yes, Ray, I've known him for a very long time. Very wise man. Very smart when it comes to the wrestling world, but uh, a great mind in the wrestling industry, quite honestly. A lot of what happens here wouldn't happen without Ray. And tonight, I think it might finally be time for Ray to win his first wrestling championship in LS11. Zand is a former ARW world champion, so it, I think it's finally time. I think Ray's finally going to get his. But, I say that he's got to go through a hell of a champion. Hanzo himself won a very special type of Royal Rumble to get into this matchup, to become the internet champion. He won the LS11 Bayside Beatdown Royal Rumble, where he had to go through nine of the men and then have a one-on-one -on -one match with the final two, with the other member of the final two, Matt, Matthew Three. Yes, absolutely. Hanzo is another very interesting individual, and I'm going to have my eyes on this matchup very closely. Because the circus runs on gold, and that in the net title intrigues me greatly. You keep your ass right here. Oh, I intend to. I do not intend to be involved in this matchup in any way, shape, or form. Hanzo and Rei, I will let them tear each other apart. I simply intend to maybe pick up the pieces one day. I see, do you now? 
Well, Hanzo is on an incredible roll in those living. He's undefeated in singles competition. His only loss coming in the tag team gauntlet a few weeks ago when NRW was eliminated by Friendo Club. Hanzo, with the internet championship in hand, has made his way to the ring. He's been a great champion, that's for sure. But does he have what it takes to take on Ray Wood? Because Ray, we've already established, is another very impressive human being. Ray, I mean, he's double the size of Hanzo at the least. Yes, yes, he is, but Hanzo, we talked to him in Discord. He puts in the hours in the gym. He's a strong man. The LSWF Internet Championship is up for grabs now. Yes, absolutely right. So, without any further ado, the challenger, one half of LS11 Universe, it's Ray Wood. And, of course, his opponent... He is the reigning, defending LSWF Internet Champion. He is Hanzo. Hanzo with his second defense of that title. He successfully defeated Shinobi a few nights ago at Halloween Havoc in order to retain that title. Beat his own tag partner. Next week, the, next week there's a big main event. Or a, a big six-man tag. Not the main event, but a big six-man tag. Next week where Hanzo, Shinobi, and Connell, the exterminator Zanzanega, will take on... DJ Danger, Nelson Kent, and Ethan Fisher of the gang in six-man tag action. We've got a star-studded show next week. Yes, we do. And we'll continue to have star-studded shows like this before every premiere and live stream for the foreseeable future, as long as you all continue to enjoy it. The bell is rung, and here we go. Ray launches Hanzo into the referee, pulls him in, lifts him up for a northern light, and takes him down. Uh, yes, Hanzo goes down in a heap. Hanzo in some trouble already as Ray Wood already beginning to pound his face in. Hanzo in some trouble. Ray's got him down. Ray grabs onto him, but Hanzo sweeps the leg of Ray. And now Hanzo getting Ray back up to his feet. Kicks him in the knee. Knocking him back. Now is Hanzo. He scoops up Ray. Nails him with a spine buster. And now Hanzo goes into the corner. Springboards into a moonsault. Takes down Ray Wood. Ray is down. Hanzo going up to the top. Hanzo going to look to fly. Frog splash onto Ray. One, two, no. Hanzo has done a great job of already managing to take Ray off his feet. You need to do that with an opponent bigger than you. I was mentioning this with Ricky Ross earlier. Ray's another one of those big guys of the LS11 universe. It's impeccable timing, isn't it? Well, 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock seem to be the prime recording times on a Thursday. Oh, yes, this is the only time that Zana has the house to himself. As now Ray Wood jumps out of, jumps with a leg drop on the Hanzo. Ray is looking to turn things around with a forearm strike. Hanzo can't let Ray mount too much offense. We saw at Bayside beatdown when Xander let Ray get too much offense in. Ray was able to capitalize. Ray was able to hit the spear and get the win. Who knows what Ray's got in store for Hanzo tonight. As he grabs onto him now and Ray gets Hanzo up on his shoulders. Ray Wood carrying Hanzo around the ring. And an elevated snake eyes. Yes, Ray managing to drop one Snake Eyes. We know who are Ray's favorite wrestlers of all time. Edge and The Undertaker. Snake Eyes there from Ray. And he stomps a mud hole in Hanzo with a middle finger to the face of the champion as well. Ray grabs onto him now and Ray Wood drags him to the center of the ring. Ray goes around to the legs and Ray. Oh, hang on. I think Ray's looking for cutting edge. Locks it in. Is Hanzo going to tap away his title reign? It could be bad news for Hanzo, but Ray gets knocked back, and now Hanzo with a huge knee to Ray. That incredible knee strike there from Hanzo. He gets, oh my goodness, look at the strength on display of the champion. Hanzo just lifted Ray up like he was nothing. Ray manages to kick him in the face, though, and Ray, oh, Hanzo with a knee, or with a kick. Hanzo fighting back against Ray now, knocks him into the corner. Uh, yes, Hanzo now bringing knees into the ribs of Ray Wood. Taking the fight to him and knocking him down. Ray's in some serious trouble right now. Hanzo gets knocked back though. Ray runs at him, but Hanzo finds the counter. Ray kicks him now. Counter for counter between these two at the moment. DDT connects from Ray Wood. Hanzo is down and a kick to the back from Ray Wood. Hanzo's down once again. Ray goes for a kick. Hanzo rolls through. Hanzo, what a knee strike. Oh, and Hanzo, the DET. Great move from Hanzo for the one, two, three. 
And Hanzo, you can see, collapses there. He barely escaped that one. Hanzo managed to defeat Ray Wood somehow, some way. I think everyone tonight thought Ray Wood was a shoe in to become internet champion, but Hanzo silences the doubters. Yes, he does. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to the first ever LSWF kickoff. We will be back in seven nights on the 5th of November for a huge show featuring the featuring the Quiz Queen versus the American Bombshell, Amanda Lawrence, The Gang versus Hanzo, Shinobi, and Connell, and Zanakava makes his in-ring debut. Until then, I've been The Doctor, I've been Quizmaster, and that was LSWF.